after sixty-nine years, India is on a threshold of a long overdue economic spurt. The slew of measures that have been taken in recent times will definitely lead to an economic betterment of the people of this nation, which is of dire need. When the entire world is slipping into recession, India is surging ahead, which is of great pride and joy. At the same time, along with economic development, if the inner development of the human beings is not taken care of, economic well-being may not lead to human well-being. It is our responsibility as citizens of this nation to ensure that scientific tools for inner transformation, which is the fundamental USP of India, should reach every human being. It is my wish and my commitment that every child before they reach ten years of age must have some tools for transformation with which they know how to handle their own thought and emotion. If we bring this about in our society, if we bring this about for every citizen of this nation with 1.2 billion people, we can impact the world in a positive way. This is not about becoming a superpower, this is about making the world into a place that is worthy of the future generations. I urge all the political leaders, the media and the social leaders and every citizen in this country to take this step that we will commit not just to economic well-being but to the inner well-being of the human being. May this day, which is symbolic of country's political liberation, also lead to the liberation of every being in this land.